Whew, it is hot here in the Bay Area in California, near 100 degrees today. So if you hear some fan noise up overhead, my apologies, but you know what? After all, this is a channel and the people demand more and I'm a man of the people, so here I am. Anyway, what's up guys? Chris here from Signs of Life. Welcome back to the channel. And on this channel, we talk about ambient music, we talk about software, we talk about synthesizers, and everything related to ambient music production. And on today's video, we are gonna talk about sequences. How do you make sequences? How do you interweave them together? And how do sequences come together to actually sound something that sounds natural and organic? Now this video, since it's too hot to make some content here in the studio, this video comes from a recent video that I released on my Patreon. It's a two-part video called The Alchemy of Ascendant. And in this video, in part one, I break down one of my most recent tracks with Ascendant called Circular Horizon. It's an amazing track of our album Second Sun. And in this track, there are tons of different sequences and they're flowing in and out. And in the video, I show how I use automation and different timbres and different filtering techniques to really make these sequences sound like they go together. So in part two, which we're about to watch, in part two, I go over how to make those sequences from scratch using some basic synthesizers, Vital, Hive 2, Serum, and how you guys can use these techniques in your own productions, all right? So if you like this kind of video, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already with the bell notification on so you can keep up to date with all the latest in the Signs of Life universe. So before we start this video, I have a huge announcement to make. I have just launched a brand new website for all things Signs of Life, signsoflife.com. The link is down below in the description. For years, I have dreamed about a centralized hub where everything can come together for all things Signs of Life, and that dream is finally here. At this website, you can learn all about me and the things that I do. You can book time with me. You can book ambient coaching sessions. I've even added a free 15 minute consultation session. If you wanna find out if ambient coaching is right for you, that's right, I said it's free. You can book it right there on the website. You can also check out the brand new line of merch that I just released. We got a new logo, we got new merch items. It's all right there for you. You can download free stuff. I've got free sample packs. I've got my blog there. The whole thing comes together under one single website, signsoflife.com. So check out the website, let me know what you guys think. That being said, let's get into the video. Sequences, ambient, it all comes together right here, right now. Enjoy. So here we go in part two of this video. Now what we're gonna do is build up a couple sequences using frequency separation so you can see how something like this would work in your own workflow, right? I think it's really important. It's good to like take a look at a track and listen and find out how these things actually come together, but then making it is a different story. So let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, I'm gonna grab Stepic, uh, obviously the Max for Live version, and then I'm gonna grab Vital and put it right after it, all right? So let's grab Vital and put it right here. Okay, now I'm gonna leave Vital off for now and we're just gonna start with Stepic. Now I'm playing in F minor, so I'm gonna put Stepic in F natural minor here. And then I'm gonna lower this down to eight steps. And we're just gonna put something in here. It doesn't have to be too like, you know, intentional. It can just be something kind of random. And then I'm gonna randomize the octaves here and just put one or two of those up. And I'm gonna fully randomize the velocity and put it in purple. Purple, by the way, means uh, it could, it's a randomized direction uh, and it has no possible chance that it's gonna hit anything consecutive. So it's fully randomized here, but the, the actual notes themselves are not randomized and that's intentional as well. So what I'm gonna do is turn off Stepic and open up Vital and let's go ahead and design a pluck, okay? Plucks in Vital are very simple to do. Envelope one, as you know, is tied to the amp. So we're just gonna lower the sustain and lower the decay a little bit, okay? Uh, we can turn on filter one and set that to 24 and lower the resonance a little bit. And we can make a second envelope and just really tighten that envelope up, tie that to the filter cutoff, which is this slider right down here on the bottom. It's not the drive, it's the, the cutoff sliders on the horizontal axis here. And then I'm gonna lower that modulation amount by using the wheel here. And now we have our little pluck. Okay, and one thing I like to do is tie the velocity over here. You see this velocity. I like to tie that to the filter cutoff. 
lower the amount down, and then take an LFO, put it in sync mode, which is really important because sync is free running. Trigger is going to trigger every single time. You don't want that with an LFO. You might, but with this with this type of LFO, we want sync, and we're going to lower it down to 8 over 1 and tie that to the cutoff. Not all the way. We're going to lower the amount down here with the wheel probably to around there. Okay, cool. And then we'll add a second oscillator, tie that oscillator here, and make it factory basic shapes. And there we go, right? So now we have a sine wave and a sawtooth. And we can pan them left or right if we want. We can do whatever. Um, and they're all both going into this filter. This filter is being moved over eight bars uh, with a, you know, just a slightly, you know, mellow filter cutoff. Like it's nothing, nothing major, right? But when I play Stepic now, you're gonna hear that this is gonna sound pretty good. I'm gonna put this through the synth bus. Now, one thing I like to do is lower Stepic down to one eighth note. I'm gonna lower the tempo down to around, I don't know, uh, say 71 beats per minute. And I'm gonna increase some delay here, increase some reverb, and now give it a play. It's more like it. why I made two envelopes was because this one being a little bit shorter gives it a snappier attack every time uh, a note in step it triggers that filter movement as you can see it makes it you know but but the whole note themselves each of those eighth notes because we're playing at a slow tempo you can see that it finishes its cycle completely before moving on to the next note so the note will fade away but that snappy attack is really what we're after and that's why it's two envelopes all right cool so we're in business here I'm liking that. That's a good vibe. Obviously, I've got my dotted eighth note delay here on send. It's some reverb. We'll just call this main. We'll just call this steady arp. <laughs> you know, steady sequence, right? Mimicking the first part of the video. And now let's go ahead and do like a bass sequence. We can go ahead, if you want to, you can go ahead and drag these notes in now. And I think we'll do that just for example purposes. I'm gonna drag these notes in now. We'll drag, say, 32 bars. We're gonna make a 32 bar tutorial example here today. And I'll turn off Stepic, and now we're in business. I did randomize the velocity, so I click on these. You can see it's randomized velocity. A to Z, one to 10, like we're good. Okay, now what I'm hearing in my head is like a boom, da boom, boom, da boom, da boom, boom. Something really low and deep, right? So let's grab Hive. And we'll do something different. We're gonna do Hive. Uh, and you know, this this also matters. This is a thing that I didn't talk about in part one of the video was, if you really wanna get down to brass tacks here, using different synthesizers for different parts of your track influences how the track's going to sound, right? I have different tools in my arsenal. I might not always grab Vital for bass. I might grab Hive. I might not always grab say serum for a sequence I, or a pad, right? For example, like I might not always grab ominous for a pad. I might grab serum instead, right? There's different parts of these synthesizers that sound completely different, at least to me. It's almost like, you know, being a, a wine taster or something. You can tell the difference between a cheap $5 glass of wine and a $200 glass of wine. It's a world's apart if you have the right palate, if you have the right taste for it, right? You know, it's the same thing with synthesizers. You can tell, you can tell the difference, yeah. It's, it's, it's a real thing. Anyway, so <laughs> that was a little rant, but I, I you know, it's, it's, real, it's the real deal. All right, so anyway, let's go ahead and make a base out of this hive uh, patch. We're just gonna do this really quickly. It's already in 24. We'll lower down the amp envelope, lower down the mod envelope, increase the mod envelope amount, um, and we'll just go ahead. I mean, this is already, that's already pretty much halfway there, right? So. Uh, we can do that. We can make the LFO sync again. Remember, this is our free running magical word here. Sync LFO. We'll make this four over one. I want to do something a little bit even. And that's a bipolar modulation right there. So it's going to slowly get darker and then get lighter. I like that. And then that's its lightest point right there. I like it. Okay, cool. So now let's go ahead. We're just going to call this hive. And... Uh, We'll go ahead and increase the delay amount on it. A little reverb there. 
Let's add another instance of Stepic. All right, and let's turn off high for a second, open up Stepic, and this is gonna be really slow, okay? Really slow. So we're gonna put in F, natural minor, and we might do some continuous steps. Uh, let's see if this, let's see if my vision works here. I don't know. Okay, we're gonna turn off this one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn off this vital here. I don't need to do that on the track base level. We'll just turn it up here and we're gonna go like this. Uh, turn on Hive. Ooh, that's close. That's close, that's close. Let's go down to F2. Increase the delay amount. I might have nailed it on the first try. Let's try making this one continuous and this one. I kind of like that. That's kind of what I had in mind, actually. But you can hear, like, those two things are not the same. They're allowing your mind to sort of like, oh, I can see the difference there. I can see that there's two separate intentions with those two. I like that. That's good. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. Let's loop that. Now, let's grab serum. We'll set the mood here. Frequency? 
tempo, and even the bonus one. Character? <laughs> you know, right? Sith, right? <laughs> anyway, all right. So let's pick F3, natural minor, and we're gonna go. We're gonna go ham on this. We're gonna go full on. Like, all right. We'll do two of these upper octave. We're gonna make this one a random sequence. Velocity is gonna be randomized. Fully randomized. So octaves randomized. Position is random. Uh, should I say pitch is randomized? Yeah. And we might even put a divide in there just for fun. <laughs> That's gonna be crazy. I don't wanna do that. All right, anyway. So, uh, okay. Now let's grab, let's, okay. This, let's be intentional with our choice. We are going to grab, um, let's grab vital. Okay, let's grab vital for our final sequence. And the reason why I grab vital is because we already have something in the science beginner pack. We have that science pluck, okay? And the science pluck has a special macro here called modify. And that modify macro can give us different timbres of sound, right? So it's like you can you can sort of move the, the macro and make some different tones if you will, uh, you know, on the fly. And we might find something kind of like dialing in a preset. We might find something that sounds really good to us. So let's go ahead and put this through the synth bus. This is kind of the big reveal here. We're gonna go increase the delay, increase the reverb, and uh, turn off the natural reverb here, turn off the delay here. I think this is gonna be good. Okay, um, let's go ahead and give this a play. Ready? make these sequences that interlace with each other. And what that's going to do is build up this wall of sound generate that doesn't sound like it's muddy. It doesn't sound overpowering. It sounds like it was always meant to be there. And so you are, in, you are carving out space within these sequences to release new worlds of experience for your listeners. And this could be across any genre. This could be like chill ambient. This could be like, you know, slow melodic sequence stuff this could be any kind of electronic music that you can think of that would have this style of sequencing in it but really that's what it's all about i hope this was helpful for you i love making these tutorials because i feel like they're valuable and i feel like people can benefit from listening Yeah.
find out how you're doing too. So like if you end up using this tutorial and making some good music out of it, find me on Discord. Send me the link. I don't care. Like I, I'd love to listen to it. We're building on this journey together. Anyway, take good care, you guys.